2009 Jetta 2.5 liter engine. Uh, customer complained intermittent stalling while driving. Uh, no, no consistency in terms of um, you know hot engine, cold engine. It's just fully random. Uh, this is the second time that we're looking at it. The first time it never acted up and uh, my co-worker was working on it and he supposedly swapped a couple of relays around just in case just to see if things would change. Uh, this time around the car is acting up more consistently uh, still at an erratic pace so in terms of long time before it acts up. Uh, it's full system scan always do a full system scan to see what's going on if more than one module is affected and you can see the highlighted stuff lots of codes in lots of the modules a lot of the uh, codes um, deal with modules not talking to each other and then also a uh, several codes about uh, well, where is it let me just find it sorry uh, terminal 15 uh, for interior so terminal 15 which is ignition power key on uh, a lot of co a lot of modules have that as well uh, so which makes me think that maybe there's something going on with the vehicle central electric control module Power distribution diagrams from Mitchell are actually pretty good. Uh, so here's the central uh, electric control module and checking those fuses uh, but then when looking at sorry That's the front of the module That's the back uh, back of the module, uh, the, the legend or whatever you want to call it in terms of uh, what what harness plug is for what. Sorry, I'm all tongue-tied. So anyways, uh, terminal, the L double connector is fuse terminal 15 interior, terminal 15 interior. Um, so L is this one here. And this is looking at the back of the module. So this here is the module itself somebody's been in here before they, my co-worker last time noticed there's a crack here so even he at that point was already suspecting this so which makes me feel good about my troubleshooting uh, I'm following basically or ending up basically where he had ended up now I don't know which relays he swapped as supposedly it was underneath the hood uh, but it, uh, what I ended up finding because of the uh, this diagram here there are two identical relays one of them is for circuit 15 so that's the power that's the relay that supplies power to ignition on and the other one is a 75 which is your load reduction relay so when looking at the box like this as it's mounted this one here is the ignition uh, relay and then this one here which is out right now my boss has it to get a part number off of it that's the um, load reduction relay so what I did uh, because of the uh, all of these trouble codes pointing to no communication from modules and it, it's no communication with those modules because those modules never got power when the key was turned up to on um, and that's why the other modules were also setting the um, 15 power codes Ignition code. So anyways, I took that relay out that was here. I put it in over here And then I just let the vehicle idle um, use it, it had acted up by itself just um, uh, Before I did the swap so I figured I'd just leave it idling uh, While I was doing something else, but uh, it never acted up So I got to the point where I put my fingers on it and they were both warm uh, all relays get warm uh, but then I tapped on this one and I had the blower motor on uh, but then all of a sudden the blower motor stopped once I was tapping on this so that confirms that The relay that was over here, which is now over here uh, When tapping on it, it cut out the blower motor and if I had if it ha if I had tapped on it in, in this position uh, The vehicle would have died because this again this relay controls the uh, power supply to the ignition on circuit uh, So anyways needs a 430 relay they're both identical uh, they're just four prong relays and uh, that's it it's not going to need a module uh, just a relay sorry about the long video